I see what hell chaps and chap, it's gang chap and birdie here. Yes. Yes, fellows, and I dare say now, here is our look back at the year 2014 just passed in Minecraft. We are taking a look at exactly what went on and what happened in everyone's favourite blockbuster game, you know. We most certainly are, and we thought you'd like this. A look back, as you say, at what has happened all throughout the 2014 year now at the end in Minecraft. That's right, of course. We have seen a very big year in many ways for Minecraft, and a not-so-big year in other ways. Of course, I, I think the first thing we have to take a look at here is exactly what the Mojang team have been doing in terms of updates to the game. Yes, indeed. I think you just said that quite well. Yes, indeed. Big in some areas and very small in others. Uh, but, yes, so what happened to your game in 2014? Well, cast your mind back there to February 2014. February, right. Yes, if you can remember even what was going on then. It was and the Dark Ages, old chap. I think it was also something going on. Yes, they were driving horse and carts then, I think. I think they were. But anyway, 175 was released. Right. And 175, well, it we didn't have any new mobs or anything like that. It was just all mainly about the realms update. That's right. And mini games in realms and things. Indeed, the Mojang chef spent a lot of the first half of the year actually working on realms. They did many updates during the course of that time, whereby they introduced new features and made it a lot easier to play Minecraft realms. For example, in February, the 175 update brought in a feature whereby you could use mini game maps on your Minecraft realm. He did, so that's what they focused on in February, and everyone just carried on playing and said, hmm, interesting. But then along came April. That's right, and with it, April brought 176. It did, 176. Now, of course, while we were all eating our Easter eggs or whatever, I think that was the time anyway, April, but not sure. But anyway, they brought in 176. Now, here, they fixed skins and skin outage problems. A lot of bugs were fixed um, in the, well, throughout all the versions, and they added name change support and more realms configuration options etc. Right, so in 176, the April update, as you'll say, they introduced a system whereby you could change your names, but it wasn't actually working yet. It was just a framework for the name change system, and actually um, the actual name changing itself was to come a lot later. And of but course, so uh, they also fixed a number of issues pertaining to skins and skins not showing and constant problems, etc. and so forth. And I think it's actually been a lot more stable in terms of skins since then. Well, yes, I think so. So they were sort of getting everyone sort of hyped up about being able to change their names and saying we've put some things underneath their foundationary wise that couldn't cause yes, them to do it. That's right. But they didn't actually do it. And then, as April, we thought, well, that's it. No, 1.7.7 also came out. Yes. Which was, um, uh, well, they just fixed a load of crashes. That's right. And we saw, of course, a huge long stream of updates for 1.7 here that rather calls one's mind back to the old days of 1.6.7. Two, six, three, six, four, six, five, and six, six, and of course this time we actually had one seven seven in that same month, which was a crash fi uh, crash fix update, and of course uh, straight directly after that we had one seven eight, which was another crash fix update. You know. Yes, indeed, you'd, you'd hardly get got through that one half of your Easter egg if that was Easter. I think it might have been March, but never mind. We'll pretend it is. And our in came one seven eight, where they fixed more crash fixes and skin fixes. It's just all bugs. So everyone was saying, "Well, yeah, that's good, but where's all the mobs and things?" But well, never mind. Yes, that's right. Now, of course, in 179, though, also in April, actually, they said, right, we've had about enough of, of bug fixing and skin fixing, and what they actually did in 179 is add support for the new skin system. They most certainly did. That came in 179 there, clearing up the thread junk by now, and that they weren't over. They bought in 179, as you say, skin support system added new things to support it, basically, for your skins. Well, that's right, of course, which yes, means you can have such things as outer armor layers and uh, rather fancy uh, adjustments and additions to your skin, etc., and so forth. And, of yes. course, uh, later on, we'd see the two pixel-wide arms. Most certainly. Or see, three pixel wide, actually. Three, four, yes, well, that's right, the fatter arms, you see. Thinner so, arms. The, oh, sorry, thinner, yes. yes. So that's what they bought in then, or producing a you know, foundation for that. They so laid they the groundwork. They laid, work, laid the groundwork. That's right. That's it. And then, of course, we came to June, so we're nearly halfway through the year already, and we've hardly seen anything. Well, we've seen things done, but it's not really things that you can see like a new, the Ender Dragon. It was maintenance, maybe. It was that sort of thing we did. Yes. So 1710 came along, and here there was a big, once again, the server realms update mm. with new player activity monitor, and apparently you could then upload your own worlds and change various server settings like game mode and PvP, etc. That's right, so you can keep tabs on what your players are doing inside your Minecraft realm and make sure they're not getting up to no good, etc. And also, you could upload your world saves, which is rather handy to share with your friends, rather fun idea there, yes. and also fiddle about with the server settings, for example, like uh, game mode survival and creative turn off or on PvP, etc. and so forth. Yes, so they added that in June. But then, we had a little delay, and in comes September. September. We fast-forward now towards the third quarter. We have fast... 
uh, 42, the third character, as you say, and this one was the biggie. The biggie has arrived. And this was the bountiful update, they called it. The bountiful and, update. Yes, or, or, as we would say, big fat update. The big fat update. The big One fat point update. eight fellows. Indeed, a very major update to the game. And this, of course, 1.8 was the longest developed update in Minecraft history. It spent around about a year in development. It took them so long to put this together. And I dare say it was quite worth the wait, old chap. Well, they put in this one loads and loads of things. I think we've got some things playing on, on the screen at the moment. don't know. Yes. But um, loads of things in this. Now, what did they add? See, some of you out there might have just just picked the game up, just started, or thought, well, yes, we had a load of things up. I don't really know what it was. Well, now you've got time to find out, you see. So you can grab your popcorn or, of course, your, your cucumber and cheese sandwiches, whatever you've got, or your roast chestnuts. Yes, listen, yes, yes. You see, they added, um, they added some blocks. They added granite and decite. And diorite, these are different sort of stone blocks, with smooth versions too. That's right, different they, types of rocks to find in the world. They did. They added a slime block. Yes, they a bouncy a, slime block. Boing, they added an iron trapdoor. Right, right. They, they, of course, added some also rather more consequential things as well as those minor blocks, like the Ocean Monument with the Elder Guardians and the Guardians inside there, which suck your health away with a nasty draining beam attack. Very nasty. And, of course, the uh, the Ocean Monument itself featured blocks like Prismarine and Sea Lanterns, which were introduced by Mr. Jeb, of course. Mr. Jeb, yes, always doing the job well as he always does, Mr. Jeb, with these little things he added there with the Sea Lanterns and, and the monuments, of course, under the under the ground. As under the ocean. Said, under yes. the ocean, I beg your pardon. And all that red sandstone was also brought in. Yes, that's right. They also dropped in, of course, another new mob, which was the um, the Endermite. Now, the Endermite. This, it was a little bit um, like a blob, I suppose, old chap. Uh, you know, it's a small thing. You know? It was a blob with a button on it. <laughs> yes, a blob with a button. And that was, uh, of course, randomly dropped from Endermen. So a rather interesting sort of atmospheric mob there. Yes. And, of course, the other mob they added was, of course, rabbits. You know. Rabbits. Little bouncy rabbits were added in. Now, you know, people haven't really said a lot about rabbits. They so just get on with them. Yes. I don't know whether they fit in or whether we really want rabbits or, or whether we just like sheep and pigs. But they I are. like rabbits. I think they're good, actually. Well, they added the rabbits. I like those. They're quite atmospheric, very nice touch and of course they drop things like mutton and cooked mutton they can use your eat your carrots etc and so forth and they're, yes. they're quite fun to have yes and you can eat them and you can tame them as well yes apparently you see now also the added as well not related to rabbit or it could be an armor stand yes they dropped now, in an armor stand That's they right. dropped that in now firstly the armor stand was made of two sticks i think it yes. looked a bit like a coat hanger. But <laughs> then they changed it to look a little bit better. That's right. They did give it a small graphical update. The yes, one it thing it does lack at the moment, uh, apparently by design, uh, was it doesn't actually have a GUI. In other words, you just right-click it and it pops on the screen. Now, really, I think it should have a GUI, old chap, personally. You know, yes, we do. Many things in Minecraft have a GUI, like the furnace, so it makes sense for the armor stand to have one too. But perhaps the coder was strapped for time. Well, it could be. Yes, yes, yes. We don't know. He was in a rush, perhaps. Yeah, he might have been. Now, also, those little villagers there, who perhaps one day will get a we'll get a facelift or something hmm. they would also now be able to harvest crops and plant new ones yes little chaps mr jeb introduced more villager ai which was of course uh, something they planned for quite a long time whereby they can do your farming work for you that was a good idea it was a good idea we think yes and of course if you like doing lots of building and crafting and that's your thing then of course mossy cobblestone and mossy stone bricks were now, or then, craftable. You could craft uh, indeed, of course. Now, these were only previously available from strongholds and quite rare as such. Now, this um, new edition of the crafting recipe will, of course, have reduced their overall value, especially on servers, but nonetheless, it makes them more accessible to the average player. Most certainly. Now, now also, if I just uh, say this, they oh, added in various new game modes to play the game. And for example, yes. they added a debug mode world type, which was hidden to most players. You could see all the different textures on the screen. That's rather good and handy, I suppose, yes. for texture pack makers. Yes. They also added in a customer world type, which is rather fun, and lets you configure rather precisely how you want Minecraft to generate your world. Ah, yes, that was a rather good thing they added there. So you could fiddle around with the thing, how your world looks. Yes. And they also added lots of other... They, you, you could fill it with lava, you could yes. fill it with diamond ore, you could make it full of coal or whatever, I say. Yes, and they added other commands as well, such as, to, to go with that, such as the fill command and particle command and test for blocks command and all sorts. Many commands, you know, indeed, which complement these features. Now, also, they replaced and restored the ability of sponge to suck up water. Yes, the, the old, the poor old sponge. Anyone love the sponge? We forgot the sponge, didn't yes. we? and the sponge went, but they said, no, we're bringing the sponge back. The sponge, I mean, back. And so now the sponge returns with his ability to suck up water, and everyone was very happy, I think. We were all very happy, although when you break the sponge, of course, the water quickly flows back, so you have to know what you're doing with that sponge. Yes, indeed, most certainly. So that, that was the sponge, and they also added a brand new game mode that turned you into a, a spectator of some sort, it seems. 
Well, yes, yes, yes. A spectator sort of game mode was also added. That allows you to fly around the world, see what your friends are doing, and also take the viewpoint of a given mob or player just by clicking them. It most certainly did, yes. It's rather fun, I suppose. Now, also, they added the ability for containers that could be locked in custom maps by using the lock data tag, another sort of command thing. Really? I see. So, therefore, basically, chests could be locked from the players of the map by the map author. Rather clever. Most certainly. Yes, indeed, I say. So, also, Freddles, they added a rather intriguing feature called a world barrier. Do you recall that one, old chap? Oh, the world barrier, yes. Yes. It was some sort of, it was like pink lines sort of thing, isn't it? Pink and blue lines, yes. depending on where you were. And actually, you can't go beyond that barrier, and things beyond it might die. Most certainly. So that was a sort of funny thing they added in, a bit like it's sort of the end of the Far Land sort of thing. Well, yes, it restricts your, your, your shall we say, a roaming of the world to a given area, which is quite an interesting twist, I think, and it's a mar- rather marvellous idea. Now, also, we had new types of doors and fences in various variants of wood. Oh, we did, yes, yes. The little doors, once again, for those like building things, which probably most people since it's Minecraft, yes. you could have different variations of doors and fun things like that. And they were 3D at first, but they were later replaced by a more 2D shape, although they still look quite good, I must say. Oh, as we think so, yes, yes. And of course, well, as we said earlier, the preparations they made for the skins were the player skins can now have double layers across the whole mod- body, actually. Or uh, the whole model, as it were. That's right, indeed. In other words, you could have an outer suit and an inner suit. For example, I don't know, you could make a zero suit Samus uh, skin with uh, the outer armour as the outer s- skin, as it were, skin layer. And also, you could make your player's arms thinner, now three pixel wide, instead of four pixel if you're a girl. Most certainly, and don't forget, of course, that very controversial one as well. Yes. And that is a new player skin called Alex, but Alex the Feminine. Alex the Lady, that's yes. right. Now, of course, the thing with Alex, I'll drop a little, a little a tidbit of sorts here. Apparently, someone u- uh, used some kind of unerasing tool on the Alex skin once, and they dug up a rather interesting bit of trivia. Originally, Alex was going to have glasses, apparently. Really? Yes. What, both full? Uh, b- what? Don't oh. be silly. Oh. No, black glasses. Oh. Uh, sort yes. of nerdy type glasses. Oh, you know. I see. Yes, 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 yes. And she was going to have those, but they took them off eventually. But apparently she uh, she didn't deserve those or didn't need them or something. Oh. Maybe she's not short-sighted after all. Maybe she wasn't cool enough uh, I don't to know. have those glasses. I'm not still. sure. You do. But there are videos. Alex is, of course, a new skin, a default skin, finally to stand alongside Steve. Most certainly. And, of course, additional options there for configuring what pieces of the skin are visible, etc., was also put in. Yes, you can turn your arms and or skins, or, or rather leg, uh, etc., and so forth layers on or off as you see fit. A rather interesting idea. Then there were balance changes across the entire game, for example the trading, anvil usage, etc. and so forth, thus making them a bit more fair. Most certainly, yes. Anvils and villages there, balance and things done there. I don't think they did anything, I'm not sure with the things like the, uh, the enchanting table, but they certainly added that to it. They did, that. of course, because they added the ability whereby you have to have lapis lazuli in your enchanting oh, table, don't yes, you? Yes, they did, yes, indeed, yes. They so that's a good point as well. And all these features, fails, of course, made up one of the largest Minecraft updates we've yet seen. There were new mobs, new mechanisms, the villagers were, had their own clever AI, etc., and so forth for farming. It was a rather large update, which I doubt it was a long time coming, and it really boosted the game, I think. Well, yes, of course, and the other little thing there, they enable to you to put buttons on the ceiling. Well, yes, and there's many more sundry and small changes, and also, of course, they removed Herobrine, old chap. You mustn't forget the fact that you removed Herobrine, yes, of course. That's I, I think important. they did, anyway. I, Thank goodness I hope they did. But anyway, now, of course, that was in the month of, let's see oh, now, September. September, but also oh. something else very big happened this year in September, Fedeos. Yes, after they'd done all that and got that out the way... Mr. Notch had been at play. Mr. Notch, he most certainly had. And he'd be having, well, it came out that they'd been having a little ch- chat with Microsoft. Yes. And they were saying, uh, this is fun, we've finished with it now, we're about to sell it all off. Indeed. So they were making a lot of rumbling sounds along the lines of, we're going to be selling Minecraft in September, although there was nothing final, but the figure floated at, at that time was two billion United States dollars. Yes, big money. Big, big money. Big money, yes. So, in that was September, then we had a bit of a quiet month of October, but in November came the news of Minecraft 1.8. 8.1, which introduced some bug fixes, old chap. Yes, so, and we say it that way, bug fix, that was it. That was it. Bug fixes, no. Oh, there, there, was, there were some new game rules as well. There were some new game rules, so they brought a little one in there, but of course, at that time there, there was an awful, awful lot of hype and, and, and sort of excitement and wonderment and, and bewilderment and hmm, sort of thing about the acquisition. That's right. And indeed, we didn't have to wait long in November before the news emerged on the 6th, I believe, old chap, that the acquisition had been completed. And for how much? Uh, well, most certainly, it had been completed, and you heard a sound like this. 
Uh, oh. That was the door shutting behind Mr. Notch as he left. I see. Yes, yes. And of course, uh, notes dropping out as he sort of behind him like a tail as he went. Yes, that's right. In yeah. fact, the final sum paid was a staggering two and a half billion United States dollars. Goodness me. That's what they paid for. Yes, two and a half billion US dollars in British pounds. I don't know what that is, but it must be something like one. Nearly point. two billion pounds, yes, I'm sure. Yes, one billion, a billion, lot of money, fellows. Like that. That's right. So it was a lot of money, and that. Was that? And so thus came the e the end to the saga of Mr. Notch's Minecraft adventures, uh, sealed there with two and a half billion to send him on his way as a girl and a handshake, or now. Well, I think the adventures are still going on, perhaps, but just not with Minecraft. Not with Notch, that's right. Yes. Uh, I, I think now, of course, the, uh, the Microsoft Game Studios have taken over the reins of Minecraft, and as we head into 2015, no doubt one of the things that many fans are going to be waiting with bated breath for is, of course, what Microsoft are going to be doing with our block-building game. Most certainly, that is the question. That's what I mean. We've just taken you through there, through 2014. That was the year, fellows. Yes, but are we going to see anything else like that big update that came out in September 14 that we've just described again? Because at the moment, they're apparently working on the front end, getting the launcher to display correctly. As we speak, yes. As we speak, probably preparing it for the way Microsoft wanted to launch on your computer. Oh yes, I should think so. Earl, by making changes to bring it in line with Redmond's view on the matter, and of course, he'll have to do what they're told now because they're owned by Microsoft you'll see so it could go anywhere for deals, but uh, we do know Microsoft have said things like uh, they want to keep the community happy etc and so forth well, so we can only hope for the best I think. Well yes they have yes so I think is all the Minecrafters out there may well be munching their Christmas turkey or whatever it is you may eat at Christmas time thinking well come 2015 will we ever see an update like that one again? Yes indeed and of course we have to be careful that a lot of the, a lot of the younger players of Minecraft perhaps don't get carried away with their new toys over Christmas and forget about the game in the new year. Well, this is the thing, yes, most certainly. So they'll have to bring some rather punchy news out first thing in, in 2015, I think, in order to counteract any possible Christmas drop-off. They most certainly are, yes, because as we said previously, these updates are very key to keeping Minecraft going. Yes. And of course, you know, people can go to other things like mods or perhaps mod packs and things like that now to entertain them. Yes. But, uh, you know, we're, mi we're missing the update, so hopefully there'll be more soon. And we just hope talking so. about those mod packs, don't forget to pop over and have a look at our Chaps Play channel. The Chaps Play is up on the screen there. We'll be going through some really tough Feed the Beast ones, aren't we? We are some jolly exciting mod, mod, uh, mod packs. <laughs> no, mod packs, yes. Mod packs, for those, which are crash landing and classic. Out of darkness, hardcore survival. You can't die and you have to stay alive with food and water. Oh my word, yes. it's, it's, too, it's too stressful now, chap. Yeah, that's certainly anyway, but it was go along and see how we're getting on, Isaiah. Yes, go over there, subscribe, show us some love, and we'll show you some back. Or we'll try to as we do all things. Indeed, we'll try not to die, Isaiah. Yes. But there are, but this has been Game Chap and Bertie with a year in review. Thank you for joining us, Isaiah. Oh, yes. I'm looking forward to seeing you once more. The legs are tiny out of my word. Yes. Bye, George. Until then.